Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this is Verse by Verse, a short podcast all about exploring the insights and lessons of the inspired Word of God. Sometimes, being a Christian can feel like a paradox. On the one hand, there's the almighty, all-powerful God of all creation who commands the universe with his infinite power and wisdom. On the other hand, there's us. Sometimes, if I sneeze too hard, I can pull a muscle in my back. I have done this more than once. We are not strong like God. We are not wise like God. We are weak, fragile human beings shaped from the dust of the ground. We make mistakes and bad decisions fueled by ignorance and incompetence. But the Bible says that after we repent of our sins and are baptized, God places His Spirit in us. That's the paradox. The Spirit of the Almighty God, placed inside our fragile human frame. The infinite, dwelling inside the finite. The powerful, dwelling inside the weak. The Apostle Paul wrote about that paradox in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7-10. through 10. I'll read this out of the English Standard Version. But we have this treasure in jars of clay, to show that the surpassing power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. We are, in so many ways, simple jars of clay. Earthen vessels, the New King James Version says. And as jars of clay, we often find ourselves in spiritual circumstances that ought to shatter us. During the course of this life, we will likely find ourselves in situations like the one Paul described to the Corinthians. Afflicted. Perplexed. Persecuted. Struck down. But we are not just jars of clay. We are jars of clay designed to be filled with a treasure more valuable, more resilient, more powerful, and more precious than anything in this life. And because of that treasure, because of the Spirit of God, when we are afflicted, we are not crushed. When we are perplexed, we are not driven to despair. When we are persecuted, we are not forsaken. And when we are struck down, we are not destroyed. In the darkest moments of our lives, God's Spirit gives us strength and hope and comfort. The death of Jesus Christ made our forgiveness possible, and it gave us access to this Spirit, this power and essence of God Most High. And so we carry about in the body the death of Jesus, that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. Another paradox. We carry Christ's death so that we can better emulate Christ's life. The way he died gives us what we need to begin living as he lived. No matter what you, as a jar of clay, find yourself facing this day, this week, this month, this year, remember that God designed you to carry the most valuable treasure in the universe. The power, the wisdom, the majesty, those all belong to God and not to us. But how incredible is it that he wants to share all that with us? Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.